Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today I am going to do an unbox and review of a spotting scope I just bought. So this popped up on Amazon, it was on sale, can't remember the exact price, but I'll put a link in the description below as well for it. I think it was like 50 or 60 bucks, something like that. I've actually never owned a spotting scope and figured it was something that would be pretty good to have with our property and we're gonna start putting in a gun range pretty soon that may go out to 200, 300 yards. So I figured getting a spotting scope probably would be a good idea, but I didn't wanna spend a fortune on like a Vortex or something like that right now. So I went ahead and bought this just to test it out. This is the Emarth spotting scope. So it is a 20 by 60 by 60 AE spotting scope. It has an adjustable tripod, a sunshade, an objective lens cover. I think it comes with a phone attachment to be able to use your phone on it as well. I'll double check that when I open it up. It says it's waterproof, high magnification, true color, and nitrogen purged. So that being said, let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at it. So that's kind of nice. It comes with its own case and everything seems to be inside that case. So it's got a little booklet, a special reward for buying it, I guess. So we'll look at that and see what they give me. A little lens cleaning cloth. So that's the spotting scope. And then looks like here's the tripod. This case is actually pretty nice. It's got a um, kind of an elastic spot to hold some of the equipment in so it doesn't move around a bunch. Um, if I can get it out. There we go. So there's the tripod. Let's see, I think that's everything in there. So we'll set that aside for now. So like I said, you have your lens cleaning cloth. Here is the, uh, I think this is the phone attachment. So yeah, this is your phone scope attachment and it comes with a few directions on that. So we'll look into that here in a second. So this is the spotting scope itself. So it's actually not super heavy, um, which is kind of nice. So your lens cap just comes off. It looks like this extends out. Not sure if that's more for shade and sun cover there. And then it has a twist off top for you to be able to look in there. So we'll go ahead and keep that off and that off. All right, so let's check out this tripod. So it does seem a little flimsy, but I mean, it's not holding anything super heavy. Um, I wish it came with a level on here, but it does not seem to have one, but that's all right. So we'll go ahead and attach this guy. So the legs are pretty adjustable. Um, looks like this is about as far out as they'll go. And so then it's got a little arm here and you can adjust left and right pretty easily. It, this can extend up and down this way. It's got a little ring here you can loosen and tighten so that you can extend that. Seems to swivel pretty easily. You can change up and down pretty easily. You can tighten it so it's not as easy to. So I've got a window back behind you and I'm just looking through it and um, the magnification is pretty impressive. I thought I was looking at the house right behind me. I'm actually looking a street over right at the roof. It's hard to tell clarity in this because I'm kind of looking through some blinds in a window, but it looks pretty good. And it looks like you can actually get your you get your 20x zoom by twisting this here at the top, and it's labeled 20x, 40x, 60x. Um, 
so that's pretty pretty cool there. I'm gonna assume this is your focus. Uh, there you go, that's clearing it up quite a bit. So, pretty solid from what I can tell. I'm gonna look through the instruction manual real quick, see if there's anything else unique to this, but seems pretty straightforward. I'll do a quick show on how I'm gonna attach my phone to it, and then I'm actually going out to the property to do some dove hunting as the season opens uh, on Wednesday. So I'm going to go out to the property, do some dove hunting, but I think my brother and I are going to sight in our rifles. So I'll test this out when we go ahead and sight that in, and I'll do some videos of that so we can see how well it works at 100 yards. We may be able to get out to 150 and show you all that, but the reviews on it said people were getting out six, seven, eight hundred yards and seeing bullet holes pretty clearly. So I don't think it'll have an issue at 100 yards, especially given how far I can see just right here. You know, it, it should be pretty pretty nice to have, that's for sure. And for 60 bucks versus what, where your typical spotting scope is 400, 500, 600, you know, this seems like a steal for that. Yeah, so it looks like this is just for the sunshade from what I can tell. So there's not really much to the instructions. Um, pretty much just figured it out by looking at it. If you know binoculars or spotting scopes, it's pretty straightforward. Zoom here at this zoom ring this is your focus ring your sunshade other than that there's not much to it uh, you know the twist cap i really like and then this cap you put on the end is pretty nice as well only thing i wish it may have had is something that you can kind of just attach it and it drops so you don't lose this cap because that happens a lot so i'm gonna look at this phone holder thing and see uh what i need to do to get that to work so maybe better to take your phone out of a case is these little sucking pieces here on the back I don't think uh, seem to attach to my case very well. So basically you just put the sucking pieces uh, up against your phone and you line up your camera there. And it has a ring here that uh, you can move this piece here in and out. Um, and that'll help if your phone, depending on your phone type and whatnot, that'll help you. It fits right over that lens pretty much perfectly, which is nice. So you can fold this eye ring rubber piece down. Let's see if I can get it to stay. They say you can do this if you have glasses, because then it won't hit your glasses. Or when you're using this, it looks like uh, they want you to do it. All right, so then you're gonna basically start twisting this till it closes in and tightens around the eyepiece here. So I think that's good, let's see. All right, so I'm just gonna do a little video here as an example. It took me a second to put that on. I think once you get the hang of it, it won't be too bad. But, so I have a video going here um, need to do a little focus, it looks like. And then let's see. I know there's not much out there to see, so. Alright, so you can see the other roof line over there. Let's see if I can get the quality to come back here. So you can see that roof line. Again, this is just to kind of show you that it, it works. The quality not out of a phone is much better than this. When I bring it outside and I actually have it out in the open with sunlight and everything, I'll do this again just to make sure that uh, you, know, you can understand fully how nice this view looks coming out of it and how easy it is to set up the phone camera as well. So I'll bring you all outside and we will test this out out there and I'll give you all some distances that we're sitting at and just show you all some of that. So this is at 40x. I'm zooming in on my phone as well so you can see we're at about 100 yards at 40x. I'm going to take some shots here. Okay, so you're above the red about two inches. Got it. Okay, right.
Get to the right. Your right height. All right, so all in all, I'm really happy with the scope so far. Can't complain too much about it. I haven't really taken it out and done any long distance uh, viewing from it, but I will try and do that uh, next week, like I mentioned. And I'll talk about that a little bit more when I get outside and start showing it, but pretty happy with it. For the price, I don't think you can really complain too much. I mean, you can put this on your own tripod if you don't like this one. So that's not a big deal to me that the tripod's not perfect. If you have a better tripod and you want to use it, I'd probably recommend that. But the scope itself seems to be really nice. I like the covers. The clarity seems good. Very simplistic. The phone cover thing probably could be a little bit better. I don't like that I have to take off my phone uh, case to make it work. May see if I can figure out a better option to work with on that. Uh, or I know you can buy some other ones that are a little bit more expensive but maybe a little bit nicer but again for what it is if you're just shooting sitting at a table it's not a big deal to take off your phone case to make this work i'm pretty happy with it 60 bucks isn't a bad deal so if y'all are interested in this scope go ahead and check out the link in my description below if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment thanks for watching